T-Space Spam here. Once again, looking at stage light. Um, this time I'm going to do an approximately 10 minute tutorial to help people get started using stage light. So I'm going to start a fresh project. Um, the first thing you really need when you're making a song is a beat so that you can base the rest of the song around. Um, this is where you choose your style, too, is with your beat. So, um, depending on what you want, you get different sounds with different presets. Um, so, it's just called drum kits, it's the basic one. But you can move around if you want a modern beat. You can see the sound's changed. Um, but if you can't find what you want with a preset, which with my other video, I couldn't find what I wanted. Um, I went through the sounds, and like you can see the different types of uh, percussion instruments, uh, and you can actually choose. And I accidentally double clicked. Uh, you can choose what you want based on its sound, and you can just click it once to preview it. And say you like that one, you can double click, and it'll actually add it. And then right click it if you don't like it, and remove it. Um, once again, if you don't like the way this is set up, like, say you want your kick on the bottom, snare in the middle, and hat on top, which I personally prefer doing it that way, um, you can select it, right click, and move down, or just right click and move down, it doesn't really make any difference, but so yeah, like I said, I do prefer having my kick on the bottom, and I prefer having my hat on the top. But, um, so let's get started with a basic beat. Um, Alright, now, for me personally, I think that's a little bit fast. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to say 90 beats per minute. Mm, too slow. So, 100 beats per minute. There we go. That's pretty good. This happened once, but it crashed on me one time. So, like you would with another program that you don't want to lose your work, just menu, file, and then save song as, I'll just call this tutorial. Okay. So now that we have this drum beat going on, we can uh, add a new track. And, uh, it's based on your personal preference. Um, I used analog synth for basically every other instrument in the last one. I just like the way it sounds. So um, you can audition it, and it will take you after it loads. Well, that's interesting. Um, wasn't supposed to add it, but uh, ah, here we go. Uh, you have all these different versions you want, or you can make, there we go, so because I like the analog synth, I'm just going to go ahead and add that, and it'll load up, there we go, and then you can choose what it sounds like, like this is the lead sound, um, there's like neon lights, sounds pretty smooth, um, electricity is pretty cool. So, uh, I'm just going to keep it simple and go with the lead sound, just generic. So, um, now that I've chosen that, you can zoom in and out with this, or you can just scroll up and down. Um, I like to start with a bass line, 
so I'm just going down to a rather low register. Um, naturally, it stops at D flat or C sharp, whichever you prefer. Um, so I'll just write this in D. Um, let's get the beat going. Press pause button. Sixteenth note is pretty good for complex lines of music. Um, I honestly prefer eighth note mode. Um, just I don't use that many sixteenths. Um, once you get into thirty-two, you notice that between sixteen and thirty-two, it doesn't change, which is the only part of this program I found annoying, but very cheap, so I like it anyway. Um, if you'll notice, when you double click, it doesn't fill up the entire note. It doesn't add a bar, but you only fill up that half of the note. The problem is that in order for you to connect those to as close as possible together, you would have to turn off the note snap right here, and then you notice that it doesn't snap. It just, you double click, and it creates a 30 second note wherever you have your mouse lined up, so it'd be like there, and I could put one there, but anyhow, that's just something that you probably want to look out for. Try and stay away from the 30 seconds, in my opinion. So, from here, like I said, I'm just going to write it in D. So now let's just...
mid-range or our uh, melody, whichever we really do like. So, um, I'll go with a melody sound because it's easier to fill in melody to me personally after I, it's easier to fill in the mid-range after I get the melody set. So, again, analog synth just because I like it. But if you want to, you can change throughout all of these. And you have all of these different, um, you have all of these different, um, voices to choose from for your analog synth. Um, or any synth, really. This is just the analog synth sound, so, again, just so you remember what that sounds like. Now, um, last time I was at, uh, it was in D, so, it was about D1 is where it was. So, I'll move up to, uh, probably about D3, just, yeah, that's a good mid-range. Uh, again, like I said, I like using the eighth notes, less notes to worry about. Um... later, but for now, I can uh, loop that section of track, yeah, it's two measures, uh, close that out, and you see I have those three going on, uh, menu, and then save song, there we go, and... So there you have it. That is how to get started on your very own song in Stage Light. Uh, thanks for watching, and see you next time.